Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Starpoint Gemini 2. Okay, we're looking for the battleship. I have no idea where the hell it is. What is this? This is a rescue mission. Sure, what the hell. If I capture another ship, I can definitely afford the battleship. Right now, I can only kind of afford it, so why the hell not? Let's go. Let's get moving. We still got our mercenary ships, though right now, I'm feeling like we don't need them. They might just be a waste of cash, but also our pilot's drunk. Wake up, pilot. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going around circles, pilot. Hold on. Full stop. What the actual... Okay, you know what? If I got to take over driving for you, why do I even hire you? Why are you even here? Why even here? Why even here? We're going to go away from the station. And we're going to find out where the hell this waypoint is. It's around here somewhere. That's the that's the rescue mission. There it is. That's where we want to go. And that's where we go to. All right, you crazy nut. Okay, there we go. All set up. I even forgot what I was talking about. The drunk pilot totally distracted me. It's like having you know, drunk pilot in a car. That would be very distracting. I don't think I'd be able to focus on anything else. I don't think I'd be able to have another conversation about anything else other than the fact that hey, guess what? You're drunk. You shouldn't be driving. How did you even get me in this car? Because I can't believe I even, like, let you do that. That's nuts. You absolute madwoman, let me out now. Madman, madwoman, whatever. Trigrish Road. Don't love that it's so close to our fight here, but it should be okay. Again, I'm going to drop in about 500. And there, there, and fire at will. Uh, nope. That was not what I wanted to do. Fire at will, I said. There you go. And I want to capture one of these. I think I'd rather capture this one. It's balanced. Let's go for it. Hack him. Drop him. On the fighter. Boarding party did fail there, but I think we're okay. Security alert, but that's all right. I'm going to grab in another boarding party. It's going to cost us a little bit here, but I think it's all right. He's still firing on the rescue ship. That sucks. I'm going to dump some cargo. Um, the rain weed, that's where it is. And the rest of these look like they're legal. All right. Your rescue. Congratulations. Okay, so we got ourselves a destroyer. Looks like a UFO. Kind of like it. All right, what do we got? This thing's supposedly worth six million credits. I don't believe it, but sure. Take that. Take the radiation field. Uh, we can hold the cargo. Let's take it. We can collect some more stuff, and we're almost full up. Not quite. Okay, we're going to put this thing. I think it's good new Sagittarius. It's going to take us a while to get there. Hopefully, hopefully we can tow this destroyer. We're a carrier's destroyer. It's got to be pretty small. Um, let's see if the grapple fails. It's going to fail, isn't it? And there it goes. Yeah. All right. Apparently, the grappler on this carrier is basically shit. It's total garbage. I can't think right now of a moment where it's actually managed to sustain itself for any length of time. Unless we're not in PTE. Which makes it virtually useless. Also, where the hell did my mercs go? Did they even... They didn't even engage in that fight at all, did they? Alright, so we're going to go full speed here. And that should stretch the tether a little bit, but... Shouldn't go past, say, 500. Which should be fine. Yeah, there we go. So now we're going to go past 400. Oh, we got a little bit past 400. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a slow roll. But this might work out. If we get, say, a fourth of the value, which seems to be the rule. Not a hard and fast rule, but sometimes. So this said we're six million. Fourth of the value would be uh, one fourth of six. I don't even know. Let's say 1.5 million, just to make the math a little bit easy. If we get 1.5 million, that might do it. Yeah, that'll put us easily in range. Even if it's just one million, worst case scenario. That's still pretty good. Alright, that's good. That'll do. 
we'll eventually get there. It's just past that asteroid. Um, the asteroid is not what I want the waypoint marker for there. There you go. Yeah, 7,000 away. All right, not just past. It'll get there. It'll just be slow. Uh, something's affecting me. Oh, it's the turquoise road is affecting my travel here. Yep, there it is. I see it. Hold on. Full stop. Full stop. Uh, okay, I'm just near it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I was worried that I was about to go into it, but no, we're good. If we go into it with a grapple, I'm pretty sure we lose the grapple. In fact, I'm pretty sure that came up, like, episode 15, 16, something like that. When we... Yeah, I think we did something like that. So the trouble is if the ship goes in... And we're going parallel to this? I don't like that at all. Uh, can we go away from it? It's going to take us longer to get to our destination, but... I really don't like us being affected. By okay, the symbol went away. We're not affected by the gravity of it anymore. Okay, I think we're all right. I'm tempted to let these guys go. I don't know if they're helping us at all. They might be. Could be they're doing work that I'm just not aware of. We could try downsizing, though. We could try eliminating one of the positions and see what happens. If it turns out we start getting creamed in battles, then we'll know it was them doing it all along, not us. Which is always good to find out. I mean, it's bad, obviously, but... It's better to find out sooner rather than later. So I think we dock. Hopefully this is a place that has a battleship for sale. We buy the battleship. We reduce our expenses by eliminating one of the mercenary positions. And then we go do a side mission. One of the blue ones. That's probably going to be a true test of our skills. That last episode felt like... I felt like the game was being very, very easy on us, and I don't know why they would do that. Unless it's to set up another punch later, you know? Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh man, such a slow roll, you know? This is what space is. This is what space is. Gotta be aware that space is basically big and empty and full of nothing. And travel times take a lot longer than you'd want to expect. And usually even a lot longer than that. Just how it goes. New Sagittarius doesn't even look familiar. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible I wasn't even paying attention to it before. We'll see. The very least we'll be able to sell the ship. But the battleship not being available. And we have max faction. So that can't be it. At least we're all the way on the right on the faction tab. At least we were. Did that change? Now we're at 2,500. We're easily... Yeah, so if it's faction locked, and I don't see why it would be. But even if it was, we should still be able to get it. It could be just the wrong the wrong planets or the wrong space station I'm going to. The wrong star point. Sorry. It's totally a star point thing, isn't it? Okay, that's anchor. Okay, 1.8 million credits. That's pretty good. And it's still just the destroyer. Well, damn. Alright, so it's not... It's not any of these. I thought for sure it was south. I don't think we need another scavenger swarm. We're probably fine. Okay, so it's not this. It's not the spire. Obviously, it can only be in places we've we've explored. Could it be down to Stone Dead? I didn't think it was, but maybe. Uh, maybe it was Stone Dead or Ruha? We've already looked at Westminster. Definitely not there. We've looked at Hagasha. It's not there. We looked at Abydos. It's not there. There's an Ion Storm going over on in the Barony Senshuk, so I don't want to go there yet. Not until that's cleared up. So, let's go... Didn't we already stop at Munich? I thought we did. Let's stop there again, just in case. We'll stop at Munich. We've already looked at Westminster, so it's not that. We'll go Munich. Then we'll go to Waldburg, and then we'll go to Rura. Or Ruhr, rather. It's gotta be one of those three. It can't be much further than that. I guess we could go all the way down to Planet Faroos, but I don't think it's that one either. There was another battleship available further north. Don't remember exactly where that was. 
but it was further north, but it was cheaper, and to be honest, it wasn't that much better than our current carrier. And I've kind of forgotten where it is. I've forgotten where everything is. Okay, we're going max speed. All right, great. So 18k sounds like a lot. We're probably going to be interrupted. It's very rare you get a trip this long without being interrupted, but I'm pretty sure we can handle ourselves. And I didn't, didn't downsize. I can't downsize now. I can't fire these guys on the screen. I would love to, but I can't. And these guys are costing me 64k a month. I should probably chunk them. Maybe not both of them, but right now we're doing okay. I mean, the officers are doing decently. I mean, I did accidentally trade out that one officer, but other than that, things have been going all right. Oh, we got a ping. I just saw a ping happen. He must have instantly cloaked. Yeah, I think that's... So our sensors are... They do have a chance to detect cloak, but it is a chance. And I don't know if it's like a constant, like once we know they're there, we always know that they're there, or we only see like a ping. And that's it. My guess is it's just a ping. I've only ever fought a cloak sh uh, well, it was a fleet of cloak ships. Once. The main frustration there was that, of course, nothing would lock on. It wasn't too bad, though. And as long as we got close to him, we could still kind of see him. Alright, let's see if this is it. I don't think this is it, though. This doesn't look right. Yep, no shipyard available. All right, that's fine. Um, let's dump one of our mercs. It doesn't really matter which one, so let's just dump this guy. There you go. I'm not gonna dump them both. Let's see what this is like first. I don't have any stuff, right? Oh, I do have some stuff. There you go. That was actually pretty profitable. That was what, half a million credits? That was pretty good. All right, we want to go this way. I'm just going to set up waypoint here first before I do anything too crazy. So the waypoints, yes, yeah, past the the station. So you just know the pilot's going to freak out. Well, we take a long time to build up to PTE, don't we? All right, and then go there. Yeah, we're still at full PTE. We do indeed only have one Merc with this. Which seems fine. Now, if we get into a huge fight, we'll probably want to hire another Merc for that. And I do want to do a side mission eventually. But I want this battleship first. And we're doing okay in the carrier. But I feel like we're probably... We've probably just out-leveled this sector of space rather than anything... Rather than me suddenly becoming good at the game, which seems unlikely. Okay, there's a Canberra destroyer and a gunship. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, the design's kind of neat. The Aurora, I'm not exactly sure how those pieces are connected, but it looks kind of awesome. And the Canberra, I don't know, it's got a nice little sleek look to it. It's cool. But it's a destroyer, and that's basically a lower tier of ship than I want. Got some shield boosters, though. I will totally take those. Thank you. Alright. Well, that wasn't it. Let's go down to Ruhr. And that we should just be able to go directly to. Should not be past the station. Yeah. Going straight this way. That's fine. I didn't think it was a Ruhr. Ruhr seems a little too far south. But... Maybe it depends... This would be weird. The movie depends on like real time days or real time saves. Like if I'm doing the same session like for six episodes or so, then those starships we get for those six episodes just are there. When I reload the save, maybe it maybe it's random. Maybe it's randomized. I have no idea. This seems very weird. There's a battle going on. I am not part of that because all these guys are green. Does have a shipyard. Okay, freighter. Freight liner. Carrier. Freighter. Okay, why is this 24 million crater? Is this actually... I mean, it's a carrier. I'm a commander, so that's okay. 
Um, let's compare these. So the hull is better. Cargo is better. Troopers are better. All right. Transporter is slightly better. Better capacity. The range sucks, though. Propulsion. It moves like molasses. All right. Power to engines takes 13 seconds. You thought five was a lot. 13 is a hell of a lot. Okay. It's a lot of mass to move, apparently. Power core is definitely better. Firewall is not that good, but everything else works out. Shields are almost twice as strong, which is great. Sensors are okay. By detection, they mean cloak detection, so it's not that good. Grappler is about the same. Range is a little bit further. And they do have a hangar bay, and you only carry... Oh! They can carry three wings. That's actually really good. Alright, well, it is a better carrier. It's not the battleship I wanted. We could buy this right now, though. For 24 million credits. We could do it. We could do it. It's tempting. Where the hell did the battleship go? I wonder if it's because I leveled up. Because the battleship I saw was available for my level at the time. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Feyruz. If Feyruz doesn't have the ship I want, I don't think it was any further down that. I know Holocom does not have a ship. I don't think it was Nagata. So we're going to go down to Planet Feyruz. We're going to look at what ships they have available there, because planets always have shipyards. And if they don't have the battleship I want, then we're going to pick up this carrier here. Because that's a pretty good carrier. Good hull strength. A little bit stronger than me in almost every respect. It's got some possibilities. And you always got to be willing to walk away whenever you buy a vehicle, you know? You always got to be able to say, you know, I like it. But I want to go home and think about it. And you've got to be able to walk away. Now, whether or not you actually walk away is another thing entirely. I don't know anyone who don't know anyone who's walked away from buying a car and then gone back to that same store and bought it. But I guess it could happen. But it is pretty rare. Once they and they know that too. They know once you walk away, that's it. They're never gonna see you again. Good chance, anyway. Still, 13 seconds to PTE seems a little crazy, but I guess that's what you get for being in a big ship. All right, yeah, we'll just pay the landing fee. It's fine. All right, what do we got? We have the Tungusa, which is a freighter. Semarang, Bohemia. Nope, these are junk. All right, well, so much for the battleship. I don't know where the hell the battleship went. Yeah, these are pretty bad. I mean, the Freightliner is interesting. It does have some good troopers, but... The range on the transport is worse, and the capacity is worse, too. It's really not made for battle. It's really made to haul cargo around. Yeah, the, the whole strength is horrible. The shield strength is definitely worse. Yeah, this is not what we want. We're looking for a battle-ready ship. And the Simmering is just for traders. All right, so we don't want that at all. What, uh, do you suppose you have any candy on you, do you? Looking for candy? Oh, you do have some candy. I will buy that. Thank you. All right, so it's not what I wanted. It's not what I was after. But it's what's available. That's what we have to go with. So that was up here. Um, for some reason, they only want the freelance there. So I'm going to put the waypoint there and say go there. Kind of hate you can't select the ship you want or the location you want. If there's a mission on top of it, that kind of sucks. I was going to say I hope they fixed that in the Starpoint Gemini 3, but I've looked it over again, and apparently I wasn't paying attention the first time I looked at the trailer. Because Starpoint Gemini 3 is not about big ships like this, it's about personal snub fighters. Which is fine, I'm totally on board with a flight sim that's a little bit more... Well, I mean, it definitely straddles the line between sim and arcade. 
I mean, it's probably more arcade, let's be honest. It's definitely not as sim as, say, X or X4 or any one of those. X series, whatever the hell it is. Anyway, it's not that. There we go, that's what I want up there. But it is a different beast entirely than Starpoint Gemini 2. Right, we're going to do a full stop right nearby, right about here. All right, let's buy ourselves a new carrier. The Domon Hour. So why is the Bohemia beneath it? I don't know. I thought this would be arranged in, I don't know, some kind of order. Apparently not. The Summering is just a Freightliner. Okay. Well, the Domon Hour, he's got, a, he's got a good look to it. I like it. It's cool. And it carries three wings of fighters. So that's kind of cool, too. So, all right, let's buy it. Yep, we're just going to trade that right over. There you go. All right, let's customize it. It's no longer called the Stonewall. The Stonewall is our previous carrier. Name these after viewers and subscribers. Let's see what we got. Bot of the Universe. Who should we name this after? Bot of the Universe has chosen Jenna D255. All right, let's do it. Jenna D255. There you go. All right. So that's the Jenna D255 now. Uh, we can sell a couple of things here, right? We don't need to sell. We don't need to have other stuff on us, so let's dump that. What do we have right here? We have a pulverizer. We have the Isis 3, which is pretty good. Average damage is 200. I don't think we're going to find much better there. It's like a dry dock here. So we have the KNS, which is a beam weapon. We have the Warlock, which is a beam weapon. We have the Rival, which is a beam weapon. Spartan's a beam weapon. Outlaw's a railgun. Dragoon's a plasma cannon, but does less damage. Even the Dragon 2? Even the Dragon 2. The Pylum, at less damage. Razor 2 is a beam weapon. Yeah, okay, so none of these guys we want to upgrade to. We can, however, get some more wings on these fighters. Let's do that. So right now we have the Mediators, and those are pretty good. Average damage, 30. Fuel, 120. Pre-launch, 7. I don't know exactly what pre-launch, 7 means. But the Meteor's been working out for us. Maybe we mix it up a little bit. So we have the Delta here. That's just a fighter. So the damage is what I'm looking for. Damage 30. The Delta is damage 10. That's not that great. Apex is damage 30. All right. Only three fighters as opposed to the five here for the Mediator. So that doesn't sound as good. Got the Hedgehog. Damage 25. Only two of them, though. Cobra. Damage 20, but there are five of them. And that's it. That's all we got. Well, the mediators cost the most. My guess is there's a reason for that. So we're going to keep on keeping on with these mediators. Let's do that. Oh, though I just noticed. Okay, apparently we're big on front-facing weapons, not so much on the sides. Yeah, but I just noticed we're only one out of five here. So definitely buy four more of those. Or half a million, sure. Let's do it. Buy another one of those. 130k, sure. Another one of those. 130k. This is why we need the extra cash before we go in deep here. We're okay. Okay, so we got that. Let's buy ourselves another mediator. Because really, those have been working out for us. And we launched three wings against a bad guy, chances are that bad guy is going to blow up. No question. The Genity here could be could be devastation on a wing here. I'm okay with Let's save the game. Now that we've traded ships, we definitely should. Now let's take a look at this bad boy. Bad girl? One of those. All right, here's the Genity. I kind of like it. It looks like a freaking ray gun. I like it. Actually, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Is the, um, you know in Halo? The, uh, the bladed weapon? This looks like what it looks like without the blade. I'm kind of a fan. I kind of like it. That's kind of awesome. I don't see... I don't see the name Genity on it. I see the Daumenhauer, so they definitely want their branding on it. Where's my branding? Where's the Genity? Let's see the name. Underneath? These are written in small print or whatever reason. 
seems dumb. It seems like it should be like right on the front. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. You can barely make it out. All right, Genity 255. Let's see how well you fare. Okay, we got a brand new mission over here. Science, big deal. All right, let's go. Let's go for the side. Let's go for the side mission. Also, an artifact right nearby it. Okay, let's go to. Let's take a T gate, maybe. Yeah, there's a T gate right here. And we'll take it to the Centric Barony. And then. Oh, that's an Ion Storm. That'd be a bad place for us. I mean, it's okay, but yeah, we don't want to be in the Ion Storm. Alright, let's just go. Let's go the slow route. Let's go here. Watch us find the battleship. That'd be pretty hilarious. I would laugh. He is going to take us 13 seconds to boot to powered engines, though. Uh, there are some bridge officers that can cut that time down by a little bit, but it's only by a little bit. Oh, man, this looks so cool. Okay, we're at full PTE. Yeah, it is a little slower, though, doesn't it? It feels slower. I think it is slower. Yeah, that definitely feels a lot slower. Well, still, it looks cool, and it's strong as hell. I mean, it makes sense it'd be slower, right? It's a lot of mass these engines we got to push. Although, it looks like we keep... Do we keep leaving our mercenary behind? He has to jump in front of us. He is definitely falling behind. And yeah, I think he uses a T-gate to get right next to it. Maybe we are going really fast. I don't think he can catch. I don't think he can catch up. He's trying. He's trying his best. But he keeps falling way behind, using a T-gate to get ahead of us, or a T a T drive rather to get ahead of us, and he just can't keep up. That's hilarious. All right, maybe at some point we need to just drop him entirely. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe we are going really fast then. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if the Merc can't even catch up. <laughs> we just keep living behind. That's so hilarious that he keeps using a T-Drive. Oh, man. Okay. Well, yeah, then as soon as we dock then, we keep having to avoid him too. It's like, oh, shit. It's right in front of us. Man, I want to try this out in battle. I want to launch all three wings. Devastate somebody. Ruin somebody's day. Really don't want to crash into our Merc friend, though. We're going to we're gonna drop our Merc. It's possible that's a mistake, but I want to find out. We're level 40. We should be able to grab a level 40 Merc, actually, come to think of it. Our current Merc's only level 30. I mean, they're holding their own, which is good, but... That might be because I'm pulling their weight for them. So, oh, shoot, I didn't hire any troopers. All right, hire some troopers. Drop the Merc. We can get a level 37 Merc. Let's just leave off for now. I know it's dangerous, but I think, I think we do it. Anybody in the area? Yeah, we got four guys in the area here. Iron Storm, no sign of abating, huh? All right, I think that is, like every time I load a save, maybe it changes the Iron Storm thing, but we'll see. All right, so we need to stop at another star base, star point, uh, to pick up some more troops. Because I have spots for 100, but I'm only halfway full right now. So where can I go get some more troops? Um, let's see, I can get them, well, I can go into the Ion Storm for that, but I don't want to. We can go to Planet Corian. Okay, let's go to Planet Corian. Let's go there. Spend a little bit of cash to... Uh... I don't know, hold on. Hold on. Don't do that. Let me just go straight for a little bit. I know you're going to act all drunk and stuff. Let's not do that. I should be looking for a better... Better pilot, huh? Or whatever it is that we accidentally replaced. What did we replace? It's over... Oh, we got a skill point. Um, let's put it in radiation field, because that seems to be doing really well, really well for us. There you go. No perks, right? Oh, we do have a perk. 
We're actually available at 40. Um, so, we seem to really heavily rely on these plasma cannons. Let's get 16% more damage on them. Let's do that. All right, where the hell is it fleet? Yeah, here we go, officers, that's what it is. Oh, and I went through the Iron Storm, briefly. Okay, it was only briefly, though. Didn't hurt too much. We should probably repair some of our shields, though. All right, who do we have? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter until we can actually replace them. Which is gonna be very, very soon now. Man, that Iron Storm, we were in, only in it for what? Maybe two seconds? Yeah, look how much energy it just sapped away from us. It's craziness. Yeah, more than 30% of our shields in that little blip. That's crazy. Absolutely mad. All right, Corian, if you actually have the battleship, I'm gonna laugh pretty hard. I don't think we'd be able to trade in for it. We need to save up all over again. But um, fuck that noise, basically. Sorry, right, we'll do the side quest and we'll see what else we can do. Yeah, anchor here, please. 5,000, I guess I do have a bigger ship now, huh? That does make sense. The frigate and a gunship, okay, good. I was worried there for a minute, but no, we're all right. Let's get some more troopers. There you go. All right, you have transport capacity, big deal. Radiation damage and weapon range only for those. So that doesn't matter. All right, so really we need to replace her. You don't have anybody, huh? So we just need to replace our pilot from somewhere. All right, we'll figure it out. Let's save the game because we're about to do the side quest and that could mean we blow up. Hopefully not. We'll see. So, right, let's get out of here. So our side quest is over here. Let's do the artifact first. And it's right near our turquoise road. I kind of hate that. I went across two tur turquoise roads. All right, let's go to the artifact. Let's go there. I guess 13 seconds of PT is only going to be a lot in battle. Right now, it doesn't feel like 13 seconds. It feels like maybe... I don't know, maybe 10? It might be decreased. We could have an officer that decreases that. I don't think we did, but maybe we do. Let's see, Cecilia. Nope. Nope. Nope, so none of you guys. Huh. Could be, I have a special thing here. A weapon reload speed, system hit points. There we go. Minus 8%. That's what it is. That's what it is. This seems like a... Okay, it's not. I thought maybe it was a... Um... Ion Storm, but it's not. Um, let's drop out a PTE. Oh, it is totally an Ion Storm, isn't it? Yep, EMP damage. Fuck. There was no sign of the Ion Storm over here. And uh, now I see it. I see it now. Yeah, all that very light blue, I can make it out now. Frel. Okay, we don't want to do the side quest thing. Not if it's going to require taking ion damage. It's all over the place. Okay, well, that stinks. Okay, we'll just grab the artifact then. Um, There's red. Okay, no, it's because the artifact vault's red. All right, let's get... Being pulled in a little bit by the turquoise road, that shouldn't matter. I'm going to come to a full stop, hopefully. And I should still be able to grab it. I am moving slightly. Alright, I put on fire at will, see if this works. Got the artifact. Plasma's doing whatever it can. We can go, like, full on here. He did blow up. That wasn't so bad. Uh, do we have anybody else here? No, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here. Get me out of this ion storm. Anywhere, really. Um, what is that? That is a science mission. That looks like it's outside the ion storm. Freelance science mission over there. So the thing is, 
The side mission in the Ion Storm, we're just not going to be able to have any shields. We do have the ability to regenerate health, but I don't like using it. Especially over and over again. Okay, what about over here? This does not look like it's covered in blue, so that's good. So, let's go... There's nowhere really good to go. I suppose back to Hagasha? We can go back to here. Let's go back to Abydos. Another artifact down, though. That's cool. Yeah, let's just get the hell out. We're gonna go right through... We're gonna go right through the Jorgos Road. That shouldn't be too bad. Our pilot should compensate for that, but it is gonna suck a little bit. I'm also gonna minimize this a little bit. Um, there we go. Yeah, get out of the Jorgos Road, please. It's gonna take us to a place we do not want to be. EMP damage sucks, though. Hate the ion storms. They do seem to be random every time we touch a star base, though. So we're gonna just keep on touching star bases, and hopefully, 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 that will mean that we don't have to worry about too much. Because I'd love to do that side mission. I want to see this thing in action. I have a feeling the main quest is not gonna let us do that. Actually, are we, are we actually asymmetrical? No. No, it's a symmetrical ship. The main mission is not going to be that challenging. It seems like we've kind of overleveled the main missions, but the side missions seem about appropriate for us. Okay, let's just do that. That should allow us to regain some of our shields back. Unfortunately, we don't get our shields back when we dock. Again, hopefully some of the changes in Starpoint Gemini 3. Can I press anchor? When I went here, I don't think I... Did I? I think I did. It should be fine. We'll just ram into their star point. No big deal. That's what happens to them all the time. Yep, there we go. Oh, I like the side. Nice little drift there. Um, no, 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 no. Don't anchor. Don't, don't. No PT. Yeah, repair my hull, please, because that was horrible. Um, otherwise, looks like we're good. Yeah, we don't need to worry about anything else there. Alright. Alright, save the game. So we got an artifact, and that's good. Save there. Okay. Now what, genius? Well, let's go do... Mini mi uh, sure, why not? Let's do the main mission. Let's cut across here, so we at least... Ex um, Explore these two. Oh no, it's gonna go right to the Iron Storm though. Iron Storm probably goes. My guess is into these square, these hexes as well. All right, never mind then. Let's go here. It's cutting directly across. It is gonna go through the Iron Storm. We're already suffering from that a little bit. We had take a T gate, but I don't know where that would take us. The nearest T gate, as far as I know, is this one, which is craziness. This tempest. There's probably one up here, but we don't know it. And there are there are campers near T gates. The pirates know that that's when you're you're most vulnerable. Hmm. Okay, so we go from Hogisha straight there. We might explore a little bit of this, but if there's an iron storm, we definitely don't want that to happen. Um, so we probably just want to go across. I think maybe here. Go to Sakara. Not from where we are, though. We need to go to Hagasha to Sakara. I want to avoid that as much as possible. We're going to have to go through a lot of red. We could go down here to Xi'an. Yeah. Going direct from where I am to Xi'an should work. It's still a lot of red. But I think we can... I think we can defend ourselves. We have mercs. We have fighters. We have a badass ship that I want to test out in battle, so I think we've we've got some we got good possibilities here. Full of power. Nope, nope. Pilot's drunk. No, 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 no. See, if you don't know what you're doing, you should just cancel straight up. Let me drive for a minute. All right. You apparently don't know what the hell you're doing. We just need to get past the the base, and then you're fine. Boy, this thing moves hella slow, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. 
Alright, um, we go to PTE this way and we'll figure it out. So it's dropping 8% off of the 30 or whatever. Are you shitting me right now? Really? Really? Alright, fire a will then. Blow this guy up. He apparently doesn't like living anymore. I'm not even going to trade him in. He's just a gunship. Whatever. Blow him up. There you go. It blew up. I mean, he had a bunch of traitors on him, too. Like, what the hell was he thinking? Just he doesn't like the way I look or something? Used to be at... Well, I don't know if it was actually a thing in the Old West. It was a thing in the Westerns from Hollywood. Don't like the way you wear your hat, mister. And that was enough. That's probably not actually the way it happened in the Old West. I mean, it seems like you've got to have some kind of law and order. People just being jerks. I mean, people are jerks all the time. I guess it's possible. It's possible somebody shot somebody at least once. At least once it happened, and that was enough for Hollywood. Somebody shot somebody because they didn't like the look of their hat. That was enough. That's probably been true today. People are jerks sometimes, and that doesn't go away just because we have a thin veneer of civilization over it. 25k. Oh, that's right. I'm not going full. Well, because I need to... Oh, no. Our shields are up. Shields are fully up? Shields are fully up. What do you know? All right. Great. So, full power. Full power. Give me all she got, Captain. Yeah, sadly. It's a lot of mass to push. I do like the symbol there, though. That's cool. I like the green, too. Didn't think I would, but the more I look at the ship, the more it agrees with me. My guess is that... It's like, we have the engines there, the engines there. So this back part is probably... I would say that would be the cargo hold. It looks like it might actually be crew quarters. Look at it, it's three floors. If those are windows, and I'm betting they are. That's probably also, like, the, the T-drive right there. So maybe a very thin section of this that actually has, like, the bridge, med bay, all that good stuff. Maybe cargo on these two. And on the back is where the crew is. And that's why all the guns face forward, is to keep the crew away from most of the danger. Be how I design it. I don't know. Seems right, though. I mean, look at that. That is definitely crew quarters back there. There's some windows, looks like, up there. But that's probably... I don't know. I can see the turrets right there. That's neat. You can see all of them right there, actually. That's cool. Oh. It's like we have ourselves a friend who wants to make friends. Let's see what happens. So fire will is ready. Um, targeting is at will. Let's do this. Let's aim towards him. He's level 39. So he didn't, he has no idea what he's about to get into here. Uh, let's go forward. What the hell? And open fire on him. Just waste him. Wow, that was devastating. As soon as he came into range, we just wiped the floor with him. Alright, full stop. Do a scavenger swarm, please. And if he's gonna make himself a target, might as well take him for all he's worth. Now, looks like we have some friends, too. Yep, we're probably in red space. Just on the edge. Yeah, we almost made it out before they decided to bother us. I'm going to turn off fire at will just because I don't want to start anything. I don't even see our Merc right now, though. All right, let's go PTE. Get out of here. Um, just in case, let me do that. There you go. Just position us in the right place. It does take a long time to get to PTE. Where the hell is our Merc? Did I, did I tell the Merc to go away? I did tell the Merc to go away. Okay, that's why the Merc's gone. Okay. Yeah, because I can't cycle through the fleet anymore. All right. Probably for the best, to be honest. Our fighters should be able to handle it anyway. Okay. Poor Pyra. Here we go. be funny if the battleship was here the whole time. I just completely misremembered. It's possible. I don't think so, though. The design specs are kind of wrong in this area of space. I had no shipyard either. Alright, we'll start everything here. 
And I guess we'll go do a main mission. Let's look at stuff here. So we have a rescue mission that's about our level. We can do that easy. Down here we have a freelance destination mission. We have maintenance mission. We can do both those pretty simply. But I think, I think we just go ahead and do the main mission. So do the next episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Starpoint Gemini 2. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.